I'm in the arena. That's why my men brought you to me. I wanted to finish this personally. But I... Don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang. But you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver get in your eye? Joe, honestly, I... <laughs> you needed something for to witness one? Yes, I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to... retire. Finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. I sounded like you when I first got here. Now I'm finished for good. Learn about this fine Imperial Arena yourself, why don't you? Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. Well, damn. My question is, what am I supposed to do if one of the fighters goes berserk? Rumor has it that the app You? What could you possibly want? You're not here to bet, are you? Betting's only open when there's a match on, and right now, I don't see hundreds of people screaming at me, so I can assume there's no match on. Good, you do that. I need all the quiet I can get before the matches start. Have to build it up so I don't go insane when the crowds come. Welcome! It's always good to see a new face at the counter. If you've got silver to spend, I'll be happy to help you out. I'm known as Thunderous Tauren, and you are my most honored customer right now, so you have all of my attention. You look like a warrior to my eye, probably not fit for the odds and saws the usual patrons might pick up. The man to see is named Kui the Promoter. He knows everything there is to know about this place. Might even be looking for a new body to fill out the roster. This could be your chance. If you're interested, he's usually up in his office, up and around to the back. Stop by again. Miniature Ravager hoods for the kids are coming in any day now. You know you'll want to. Nano wo, now I've tata seen here, uk uno.
Punawair, Sun Punao, Poku Narawair, Uk Otonawair, Sada, Ukikir, Kikir, Usair, Nusun. Ukair, Otonawair, Nisun Puno, Sir Tsunkut. Sisa yuri furkt wo sair napsan kir uksai po wo ta soso ya 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 Ukair Otonoir, the Nisun Punoel, a seer soon could. Nano wo, now of Tata Sini here, Uk Uno. I... I am really hitting this old song language. It's hard to follow at times. Your business is that the heart of the empire politely requests that you keep your nose and ours to assume that you will no longer wish to pry into our recipe. Please enjoy our interruptions and meet in the air that you can yourself. I was wondering if you'd wander over here to test your luck. It's hard to resist the rattling call of the dice, isn't it? <laughs> Gambler Dauschen's the name. I run the straightest dice in the Imperial City. I wouldn't want to feed my children with tarnished silver, would I? <laughs> Good odds and fair play. That's how I keep them coming back. A simple enough game called High Low. You predict how you'll roll against my toss and double your coin if you're right. You'll catch on easily enough, I'm sure. The rules are simpler to deduce than the motives of a desperate lad memorizing sappy poetry. You make a simple prediction of high or low. Then we roll. I throw first and you throw second. If you wagered high and roll above me, you double your wager. If you wagered low and roll below me, you also win. If we roll the same, the house takes all. I can take bets of one and five silver. Nothing extravagant, I know, but Gambler Dauschen plays by the rules. The kind of rules you ignore only if you're tired of using your arms? I could probably find a way around them if I knew someone who could go into the back room past Kui's office. I think they only let arena folk go back there, fighters in some of the higher divisions. Ha! 
High-low is easy to learn and people like it. Why change? Right you are. That's what I was waiting to hear. Hi, it is. Let's see how sure you are. How much would... Let's see how they fall. Not enough spin on the wrist to best my roll, it seems. Don't worry. You'll make it... Let's say we try... You take... Don't you just love the Imperial Arena? No other place like it in all of the Jade Empire. Were you looking for me? I'm Lady Rento, and I was expecting someone sent by Captain Sen. Poor Hugh Kong. Captain Sen's still willing to do my husband's bidding and hunt him down, is he? I swear, my husband is insufferable. Yu Kong's a harmless aspiring actor who asked me if I would act as his patron. Since my husband was away from the city, again, I accepted and gave Yu Kong a moderate stipend. I thought he was charming. That was how my husband presented the situation to the authorities. He didn't want to face the shame of supporting a humble actor. My husband's a fool, but when he lowers his head, all I can do is let him charge and hope he rams something solid enough to slow him. Probably less than my husband is putting forth as a bounty for poor Yukong. That young man doesn't deserve this. I would wager that you'll find him in the Scholar's Garden. Yu Kong was going to try out for that new play. It's going to be put on soon in the Golden Way, I'm told. Should be exciting to watch. Yu Kong was going to try out for a role as a scholar, so he may be using his costume to hide in the garden. He's not much of a scholar, so you should be able to spot him. If you happen to find creative Yukong, do go easy on him, would you? The poor boy did nothing wrong, and my husband is being unusually cruel to him. Good luck with your search. I have to get back to the estate. So much to do. One more mistake, Kui, and I'll have you retired. Finding someone else is your problem. But! Enough! Find a solution and leave me alone. This is not an approbate time to... Wait a moment. You, you have the look of a fighter about you. Those hands, that stance, even your eyes, I'd know that look anywhere. You must be here to join the most glorious contest in the Empire. Isn't it fortunate that Lucky Cho and I were just discussing how this place needs an infusion of new blood?
The only thing more lucrative is hawking steamed buns in the scholar's garden during the annual debates. If the baker waits the buns right, even a scholar can fling them hard enough to end most any argument. Come with me a moment and we'll engagitate in some dissertation about the best decision you'll ever make. This is turning out to be an excellent day, most ostapacitatious indeed. I apologize if I'm using words beyond your grasp. Very few people can match either the supply or the command of my language. Mm. Of course, silly of me to bring it up for you soon. A single glance tells me you are a remarkable woman with the perfect mix of strength and grace to grab a crowd's imagination. The question is, can you fight? Are you worthy of the arena? I say the answer is a clarion and resoundering yes. I may not have heard your name before, but you walk like one who has seen many battles. You are indeed mysterious, stranger. What say we get you signed up for the greatest attraction in all the Empire? The arena awaits. Here you fight for silver. Glory is yours for the taking if you value it. The rewards start small, but in the gold division, you could easily retire on your winnings. In fact, our last champion, Raging Ox, did just that. Suddenly up and left to enjoy his winnings, clearing the way for the Ravager to take his place. You'll start low and advance on my say-so, but I can already tell you're going to expel in this place. You'll not languish in the qualifiers for long. You will face the flashing blade of Crimson Tana, the stern resolve of Iron Soldier, and the, uh, troublesome Triviriate of the Sun Brothers. If you defeat these veterans, you will face the Ravager, our newest champion, who tore his way through the divisions to replace the now-retired Raging Ox. Go ask them yourselves if you want to know more. Hapless Hans faced more than a few of them, too, if you want his perspications. Any idea how much paperwork I have to do when a contestant of the Empire's finest tournament dies? Wards and spells have protected fighters in this place since its construction. It's been easily 20 years since they failed. Mm. It was a dark day. My predecessor lost several good men when the spells failed during an event he'd ironically dubbed the Feast of the Ogres. I'm no sorcerer, but I suppose it could happen. Still, any magically inclined person would notice something like that. Even if someone removed them, the protections would reweave themselves automatically in time. They've done so before. That's the spirit of the thing. Now, what name precedes you in your travels? Ha! 
have a bit of a past that you'd rather not catch up with you? You're not the first. Think of something that would sound engaging, ringing down from the rafters. That's how we'll bill you. Raging Dragon, huh? Sounds fast and powerful. I like it. Are you positive that's what you want? Then that is what you shall have. Come and tell me when you're ready for a fight and I'll get you started. Since you're new, you'll start in the qualifying rounds. The money's small at that level, but it's there. Any other questions? One other thing. You should talk to the other fighters now and then. They will be watching you, and you should get to know them as well. We're all one big happy family. You're a big happy idiot, hon. As you can see, they always have something to say. For your first match, we'll start you off against a mighty ogre. I'll be watching your style closely to see how you fare. Impress me and I'll take you to the top. Even our great champions start out against the ogre. Take Raging Ox, who danced around the beast singing drunkenly to earn the crowd's favor. Or the Ravager, who defeated him in a single blow. I should take a moment and explain the system we use here. That's the spirit. Dive right in with both feet first. It's not that difficult a system, and you seem bright enough to figure it out. Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Follow me and we'll Pretty get much. you ready for your next match. A new warrior does battle with the beast. Didn't take that long. That was an impressive beginning. Normally I'd have started you off against something easier, but you practically lose potential. You've caught the eyes of the other fighters as well. Go ask them if you don't believe me. That really was a fantastic bout. Beating the ogre's nothing special. I could have done better bound and blinded. Sometimes you don't even need to ask. One fight does not make a champion, though. There are many more opponents ahead of you. Let's move on, shall we? Since you held your own against the Ogre Brute last time, I'm going to try something exciting for the crowd. I've got four boys from some school west of the city who've been bothering me for some tougher matches. I'm giving you all of them at once. It'll wow the crowd and teach them a lesson at the same time. Remember to watch your sides and back. Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Four students test their skills against one master. Easy. Those boys won't be back anytime soon. Losing as a group to one opponent would shame a peasant, let alone a student of the martial arts. The crowd's starting to catch on to you. Have you noticed? People like you, and now I'm going to make sure they pay attention. I'm going to have a roughly hewn statue hauled into the ring. I want you to discomfortulate it. Destroy the statue quickly enough, and I'll give you a shot at hapless harm. 
Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Unyielding Stone meets the press of time. Excellent work! You have bested time itself in destroying that statue. No mean feat, I assure you. I think you're ready to face hapless Han. Show me you're ready for the big time and I'll make sure you don't have to dance with the children anymore. Are you ready to get started? If that's the decision you want to make, it's your go for me. You just let me know when you've changed your mind. Be sure to return when you're ready to continue your climb through the qualifying round. Hello there. I'm Han. Though fans and, well, everyone else call me hapless Han. It's not such a bad thing. Fighting in the lower divisions means I never run afoul of the Ravager. Our current champion has nearly killed his last two opponents. See, I look on the bright side of things. Even if my losses make people call me hapless, are numbers really that important? In my mind, it's trying your best that counts. Who knows? I might even emerge the winner from our match. I hear you and I are due to meet next. You have something on your mind? I'm happy to help. It's always good to know who's competing at the higher levels. You're looking to the future. I know a little about Soldier, if you want to hear my take on him. But we could also talk about Kana, if you're curious about her. I really respect Kana. She's undefeated, did you know? Made it all the way to Bronze Division Champion without a loss. I know she's from the prosperous East, but for an Easterner, she's very reserved. Easily the most disciplined of us all. She's going to teach her style to the first person who can best her in the arena. People have been really excited about that because her sword is so deadly. My father is a smith of great renown, and he always wanted me to follow in his footsteps, but I couldn't. My blades would be brittle, and even simple ironwork would be clunky. Eventually... I had to leave home. My father is no longer my father. More precisely, I'm no longer a son in his eyes. I wasn't sure what to do after being cast from my home, but coming east to the city made sense. I was never properly trained. I've learned what I have from watching the fights here. Practicing hard and staying focused. That's my story. One day I'll make it here, and my father will have to be proud of me. This is my chance to be someone great, and I'm sticking to it. He's one of the most experienced fighters here, but he's hardly a mentor. He's boastful, insulting, and a general pain. The fans love to hate him, though. He is an exceptional fighter. Years of military training will do that to you. He's currently the champion of Silver Division, which tells you something about his skills. That's all I can think of regarding Soldier. He keeps to himself most of the Not time. Really. You two sound like a pair of old crones talking about their neighbors. Everything you need to know about me is right over here. I'll see you soon enough. I'm looking forward to our match. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. What do you need? 
I think you're ready to face hapless Hans. Show me you're ready for the big time, and I'll make sure you don't have to dance with the children anymore. Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Follow me, and we'll get you ready as for ready your next I'll match. Be. A chance to leave the qualifying division as Raging Dragon faces Hapless Hand! <laughs> Professional fighters move past him eventually. Kui, that will be enough. I bring you a message from my employer, Kailan the Serpent. He is impressed with how far you have come in such a short while. The Serpent wants you to know that he is watching your progress very closely. He is most interested to see how you fare in the Bronze Division. Kui, you may breathe again. That is all I had to say. Well, that was good, I think. He has a distinct interest in the proceedings here. He is an ex-champion, you see. He retired some time ago, even before Raging Ox, who was the champion before the Ravager. Kylon couldn't leave the arena alone. He has become a very important man here with the help of a group called the Guild. Lucky Cho is a thug, pure and simple, but he's very good at what he does. He's also a member of the Guild and reports directly to Kai Lan. Kailan oversees things here in the arena, and the guild ensures that the authorities leave us in peace. The guild is the organization that controls all of the betting in this place. That gives them considerable sway. It is good that they are happy with your progress. Between us, the Guild is also involved in more illicit activities. They are very sensitive about remaining an open secret. Many know about them, but few acknowledge that fact. Right now is a particularly dangerous time, as one of the leaders of the Guild has recently been inhumed. Kailan sees this as an opportunity. Do not discuss them openly. The guild has many ears. You may ask some of the others in the arena about them if you wish, but I would not bring it up to just anyone. A wise decision. Very wise. For the sake of your career, I suggest that you limit any questions you have to your fellow fighters. Well done! That fight was much better than this wine. With all the pure water pouring from the palace, you'd think they might have learned how to make wine that didn't taste like goat piss. Black Whirlwind! That is you. Are you back to... No, just here visiting, and making sure nothing happens to your newest fighter. So, you won't be... No, leave it alone, Queen. You know better than to bring this up. Just mind your business, promoter, and I'll mind mine. He, uh, you travel in curious company. Regardless, when you're ready, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your next match. I know him, yes, but I know better than to contravigate his wishes. 
If you want to talk about it, ask him. I'm staying out of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare for your entry into the Browns Division. It will take me a bit of time before you'll be ready for your next fight. You should talk to the other fighters here. They've been watching you and are getting nervous. Of course, I'll need more time than that for these preparations. It's just a matter of preparing the proper documents. Why don't you kill the time by making your way out into the city? See the sights! Maybe visit the Golden Way or the Scholar's Garden. Actually, that reminds me. A woman was here watching your fight against hapless Han, dressed all in black and veiled. She seemed impressed with your preference. Just before she left, she told me to tell my new fighter that she was still waiting to see you. She said you'd know where. Sounds like quite the invitation. Well, I'm actually going to stop right here. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again.